Besides doing everything that we've seen in this video series so far, the Spark can also act as MIDI controller for any plugin which can be controlled by the MIDI. We can even use Spark as controller for the Reason software. Let's look at an example on Reason in rewire context with Cubase, but before, let's get familiar with the Spark MIDI Control Center application that comes with the Spark installation. This application's interface enables us to define the various MIDI messages that we'll have to send the various controllers found on the Spark controller. To use this application, it's important to press on the filter slicer and roller buttons at the same time to have Spark get into MIDI controller mode. Let's do a few examples. If we want to control with the Spark controller some functions of the Reasons Kong in rewire context with Cubase, you need to look at first the MIDI implementation charts from Reason and find the CC MIDI of the various functions we wish to control. On the Spark MIDI Control Center interface, let's do now what's necessary to link the controllers to the MIDI messages. The first 8 Kong pads are triggered by the note starting at C1. Then select the first pad by pressing on the physical pad or by selecting it with the mouse and choose Note as a message type. Select the C1 key. Let's choose the gate mode here. To validate our setting, go in Action and do Send to Spark Controller. Now, we notice that Pad 1 is associated to the C1 key. And since I use the Gate mode, this implies that the sound will be triggered as soon as I press and the sound will be heard as long as the pad remains pushed in and won't be heard any longer when the finger releases the pressure. The toggle mode here enables the pad to stay active even if we take the finger off. You need to press on it again to disactivate it. Let's take back the gate mode. After, with a little patience required, you have to do the same kind of setting for the pad 2 by selecting the C sharp 1 note. Still with the gate mode. Same thing for pad 3 that will link to the D1 note in gate mode. Etc for the rest of the pad. Never forget to send your setting toward the controller to confirm everything. By the way, we notice here that we can also choose the velocity levels for each pad. We may notice as well that each pad has 5 tags, the second enables to set the aftertouch on the pad. So, we've got here many possibilities for the pads to react in various ways and to send various MIDI messages. It's the same principle for the knobs. In the MIDI implementation charts from Reason, we see here the CC numbers for the panoramics of the various Kong drums. Number 28 corresponds here to the panoramic of drum 1. On the Spark MIDI Control Center, let's select the knob here. Let's take as message Control Change. Let's get number 28. MIDI Canal Options as well as various reaction modes are possible here. As an acceleration of the knob rotation, let's select Slow, which often enables to have better controls. Let's do a send to Spark controller in order to save momentarily our work. 
Obviously, I won't do all the work here before you since it's a little long, but it's understood that I could use the other knobs to control the panoramic of the other Kong drums layers. The sequencer's 16 buttons at the top of the spark could be used to put in solo Kong's drum pads if we want to. You need to look again in the MIDI implementation charts, which are the CC MIDI associated to the solos of each Kong drum pad, and to do the job. Let's select the sequencers button 1. Select Control Change. Get the MIDI CC number corresponding to the solo of pad 1, that is, in this case, 79. Let's leave it on Toggle here, which will be more practical in solo context. Let's save our work. Now, we notice that the sequencers button 1 is well associated to the solo's CC MIDI of pad 1. Since the toggle mode is used here, we notice that the button remains active even if the finger has released the pressure. Therefore, every time this button will be triggered, pad 1 will be kept in solo. We could do the same for the other 16 sequencer buttons and finally for all the other controllers found on the Spark. When we finish our setting, we can save it in SMC to able to take it back later. I've already created a complete setting for the Kong from Reason here. Let's go get it by opening it via file open. After, you need to do send to Spark controller, and that's it. We can close the application and realize the messages are saved in the physical machine. Now, let's open Cubase and Reason in Rewire. In Reason, insert a Kong module. Charge a patch. Since we are in a rewire context, let's insert a MIDI track in Cubase. Assign it to the Kong. Here you go. Now the Spark physical controller controls the Kong. We can trigger the Kong sounds with the Spark pads. And we can, as we've anticipated, change the drum pad's panoramic. Let's quickly record a short sequence and quantize the result in the sequencer by looping everything after. Since I did what was necessary before to assign spark sequencer buttons to the solos control, we can put our related pads in solo here. Now let's do an example on a VST capable of doing MIDI learn. In this context, the accurate choice of the CC MIDI on the Spark MIDI Control Center couldn't be important, at least for anything that's not sound trigger pads. So, let's keep this template initially made for the Kong and, in Cubase, insert a native instrument's batteries plugin. Let's link the MIDI track associated to the Spark controller. Charge a patch. As on battery, the samples all begin at the node C1 for pad 1. 
Spark's pads initially parametered to trigger also from C1 can very well now trigger the battery sounds. If in the effect section we want on a given pad to be able to control the lo-fi functionality frequency with Spark, you need in the battery case to right click and to indicate MIDI learn. To turn any knob, having at least one CC MIDI number assigned by the Spark MIDI control center and that's it. It's the same for any function able to get by the MIDI Learn a MIDI message coming from the Spark controller.